Hi, this is Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Evening Vespers. Tonight's meditation is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 13, 10 to 21. On a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues, and a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. She was bent over her and could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hands on her, and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Indignant, because Jesus had healed the, on the Sabbath, the synagogue leader said to the people, there are six days for work. Some come and be healed on so come and be healed on those days, not on the Sabbath. The Lord answered him, "You hypocrites! Don't, doesn't each of you on the Sabbath untie your ox or your donkey from the stall and lead it out to give it water? Then should not this woman, a daughter of Abraham?" whom Satan has kept bound for eighteen long years, be set free on the Sabbath day. From what bound her? And when he said this, all his opponents were humiliated, but the people were delighted with all the wonderful things he was doing. Then Jesus asked, What is the kingdom of God like? What shall I compare it to? It's like a mustard seed which a man took and planted in his garden. It grew and became a tree, and the birds perched in its branches. Again he said, What shall I compare the kingdom of God to? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into about sixty pounds of flour until it worked it all through the dough. The kingdom of God is spreading and growing like a tree like yeast in a dough, it spreads, it's contagious, it just takes off and grows and grows. It starts with a small thing, a hope, a belief, and then it takes root and expands in our life. It has a life all its own, a power all its own, and it can't be stopped. When Jesus came preaching the good news of Jesus Christ, he came to those who had a lot of rules and regulations about when you could do and what you could do. But he came to give signs that the kingdom had come. Rules is what we have in place of the kingdom, but the kingdom itself has power and authority, even over the rules. He came to set free the captives, to find those that were lost, and to declare good news to those who were oppressed. He has come for you too, to declare those very things, to bring the good news, and not just bring it, in words, but in actions, in deliverance, in forgiveness, in a whole new life, where you are resurrected from an old life of your sinful self to a brand new life that is just amazing. There are a lot of people who don't get this. They're basically clueless. They could be studying religion and Christianity their whole life. They can be Jewish experts who meet the Messiah, but they're clueless about who they're really looking at this Jesus who changes everything. For when you have a clue, you realize he is the Son of God, the Messiah, the King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, and he has come for you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we would receive you as our King. You have come for us. You are alive, you were raised from the grave, and you have triumphed over death itself over Satan and evil, and you have come still declaring freedom, healing, restoration, and hope to those who are lost. Lord, we would be counted in that number and be received by you into the fold of God's people. Lord, receive us tonight. Give us the hope we need, the courage, and the faith to live as children of God. We pray, Lord, that it would ever increase in our soul and tomorrow that we can see a brighter future as our King leads us into the exciting will of God. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. I am so glad that you joined us for Vespers tonight, that you have found us and keep coming back. 
If you've enjoyed Vespers, I hope you'll encourage someone else this week to join us as well, to find us here, a part of our ever-growing family of faith every Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. If we all one tell one, it spreads, and our family grows, and our encouragement in the Lord increases. Until we get together next time, this has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church encouraging you, as always, to keep the faith and to share it too. God's country. Come to God's people. Come to God's word. Welcome to Millerville Community Church. We're just a short drive away.